The second follow-up question by the radio journalist Maharshi was asking how does meditation bring this light to society? What exactly is the process by which the thought process in a group creates coherence in the whole society? A stressed man will always have stressful speech, stressful thinking, stressful doing, and he'll create a hell in the society. A man who is relaxed, who, is, who has no stress, no strain, will do the different kind of activity, pleasing, pleasant, helpful, peaceful, happy. So it depends on how much a man is, is enveloped with stress. And or how much he is free from stress. A man f free from stress we will, will not cause stress in the environment. A man full of stress will definitely cause stress in the environment. And therefore, people practicing transcendental meditation having less and less stresses in their physiology, in their psychology. So they are disintegrated people who have stresses and their action and their, their uh, the speech and their movement, their behavior will cause stress and strain in society. So because those who practice meditation and yogi flying and all those things and Vedic Pandits doing the Vedic Yajyas and all that, all that, they generate peaceful influence in their environment. And this is how the program has developed to eliminate negativity in the whole world consciousness, the collective consciousness of the world will be free from stress and strain. You do it, do it today, today it can happen, you don't do it for a century and for a whole century you may, you may, be, you may be flying in flames for yourself and for others. But in this generation now we are offering to the world safety, safety from poison, safety from flames, don't go into flames. <laughs>